How do we do battle against the forces of darkness? The three things that we need to know. The first one is this. We never treat our enemy lightly. No matter what, we never treat our enemy lightly. In fact, look at what scripture says in Jude verse nine. But even the archangel Michael, when he was disputing with the devil about the body of Moses, did not dare bring a slanderous accusation against the devil. But he said to the devil, the Lord rebuke you. Even when the glorious archangel Michael was battling against the devil, he didn't trash talk the devil saying, you're nothing, you're a punk, you're U-G-L-Y, you ain't got no alibi, you're nothing. He didn't do any of that. He said, this is ultimately the Lord's battle. The Lord rebuke you. We never treat our enemy lightly. It's a great story you may want to read sometime in Acts chapter 19. It was about seven sons of Sceva and they thought they were able to cast out demons in the name of Jesus, even though they didn't really even know the name of Jesus. One time they found a demon-possessed man and they approached him and said, in the name of Jesus Christ, whom Paul preaches, come out of him. And the demon inside of this man looked at the seven sons and said, hey, we know who Jesus is and we know who Paul is, but who are you? And scripture says this one demon-possessed man whipped seven other men so badly that these men came out of the house naked and bleeding. This story teaches us the principle that we never treat our enemy lightly. Second principle is this. We don't flirt with darkness. We never ever even flirt around with the things of darkness. For example, maybe as a kid, you did what I did. We used to play this little game where you'd take a person at a party and, and you'd, you'd, they'd lay down on the, their back and, and we'd say, light as a feather, stiff as a board. Light as a feather, stiff as a board. And then we'd put two fingers under them and we'd try to lift the person up. And then we'd have seances where we'd turn off the lights and we'd call on the evil spirits or we'd play with a Ouija board, you know. Well, spirit, will she go out with me? No, she will not. And we did all sorts of things like this. The scripture teaches us that we should never have anything to do with the forces of darkness. We don't mess around with seances or by consulting mediums or spiritists or look at tarot cards or play with Ouija boards. We, we don't even look at our horoscopes. We don't watch Teletubbies. Okay, I'm just joking about the Teletubby things. But we never ever flirt with darkness. Why? Here's what the Bible says. Deuteronomy 18, verse 10, 11, and 12. Let no one be found among you who practices divination or sorcery, interprets omens, engages in witchcraft, or casts spells, or who is a medium or a spiritist, or who consults the dead. Anyone who does these things is detestable to the Lord. We don't treat our enemy lightly. We never flirt with darkness. The third thing we need to remember is this. We don't fight with our power, but with God's authority. We never fight in our own power, but instead in the authority of God. There's a big difference between our power. Our power is not great enough, but we fight in the authority of God through the name of Jesus Christ. Here's what scripture says, Matthew chapter 10, verse one. The Bible says that Jesus called his 12 disciples to him and he gave them authority to drive out evil spirits and to heal every disease and sickness. Jesus didn't give his disciples his power. He gave them authority to do it in the power of Jesus. And there's a big difference. For example, if I went out into the middle of the street and decided I was going to stop traffic and I just started telling everybody to stop, most people would probably look at me and say, who is that guy and why does he think he's doing this? You, you don't have the power to make me stop. But if I was dressed in a uniform and had on a badge and then said stop, traffic would stop. Why? Because I was stopping traffic in the authority and in the name of the government that stands behind me. When we do spiritual battle, we don't battle with our own power, but we battle in the authority of the name of Jesus Christ. For greater is the one who is in us 
than the one who is in the world. In his authority and by his power, we can have victory against the forces of darkness.